Hello and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create and customize modifier buttons to speed up your workflow in 3ds Max and increase your overall productivity. Modifier buttons are a great way to apply common modifiers to your object without having to go through the modifier list every time. You can also customize them to suit your preference and needs. Let's get started. So all you need to do is click on this thing over here. You'll see show buttons. I mean, when you click on this, the buttons are going to show up. Now, when you come over here and you draw a box like so, and then the box is selected, you see some of the, some of the modifiers that can interact with this box selection will come up like so. But now we have the default ones that comes with 3ds Max. How do we add our, you know, preferred modifiers that we use all the time? All right. So to do that, you have to click on this button again. You see configure modifier sets. So now when I click that, this thing comes out. You see total button seven. So to increase this button, all you need to do is select this seven. Let's say I want to add, make it 10. I will just write 10 there and then hit enter. It is going to add three more buttons. If I want, if I wanted it to be 12, I would have, you know, typed in 12, hit enter. You see, it has increased. So how do I get my tool, my modifier to be in here? Let's say I want to add chamfer. I'll just come here and type CHA as quickly as I can. You can see chamfer here. Just drag it and drop. Okay? Want to add UVW map. Very important. You see it there. Just type it as fast as you can. It's going to take you there. Then the next thing, well, yeah, let's say you want to add um, extrude. Okay? FD, FFD 4 is the 4. All right? Um, let's say you want to add push. Okay? If you want to override something, just drag it and drop it on top of that one. And that's it. Pro Optimizer. Okay, you can see Shell too. You can drag and drop. Or you can just add more. Let's say I add two more. You can also add by increasing, like clicking on the arrow button up, up there. Okay, you can see Skew. Then you don't, you don't necessarily have to put all these things and put I'm just trying to show you how this thing works you can see preserve you can see all those things you can even see spline chamfer whatever okay so you hit okay now all of them are here all right so each time you come over here it's just going to be there looking at you you can click them you can select them you can do whatever you want to them all right so that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed it if you did please give us a like. And if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing. Not only subscribing, ring the notification bell so you don't miss our future content when we do post them on this channel. All right? Thank you very much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.